He's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? Well, here we go. Now that I've had the Herbology class, I have to go and find ten more fucking shields before I can do the second task. So, rather than most episodes where I would just do one long recording and see where that gets me, I'm just gonna show only the relevant or interesting clips for this particular episode. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to find all this shit, nor do I know how long the episode is going to be right now. Yeah, I can tell that's gonna keep annoying me. All these plant buds are the same size before I cast on them, but I don't know how big the resulting lily pads are going to end up being, so I'm not sure which buds I have to cast at to create the pathway that will get me wherever I want to go. I'll get there eventually, but it's still slightly annoying. And not too big of a deal, though. I guess. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it is. <sighs> oh well. I had to open up that one lily pad anyways to reach the edge of the little island there. I think that was all I needed to do in the Hogwarts exterior, so I'm headed back to the Forbidden Forest. <sighs> Again. Wait a minute, though. What's this? Oh, that's something new, isn't it? Oh, you fucking camera! God damn it. Okay, so it's a flower that gives you a few beans. Noted. That's not exciting at all. Alright, first stop, the staircase vine that leads up to a pathway on top of a small cliff area. As soon as I deal with this thing. Oh, there we go. Did Harry die already? Good lord, man. Well, he didn't... Did he even use a chocolate frog? I don't understand. A little icon indicating how many frogs I have left didn't show up while he was being revived. And, uh, let's see. It's like a week after the Herbology thing. More than a week that I've, uh, procrastinated on uploading this. My bad. I'm just lazy. Yeah. Oh, what? These things live in the Forbidden Forest, too? You gotta be shitting me. Damn. Oh my god, and another blast and its ended screw just appeared out of nowhere as if it was a creature that was capable of apparating. I guess you could do that in the Forbidden Forest, and I haven't even finished my staircase. But really, the way the pads are angled and overlapping, I suppose it's more of an unfolding ramp, but still, this is the most annoying possible roadblock I could have encountered. I'd rather meet up with Urklings than these mosps, so at least they die somewhat quickly. The mosps are even more annoying than the boobo tubers, and those, at least, they'll leave you alone unless you touch them, and you can attack them at your own pace. And why do the mosps insist on following me up here? I wish the blast into the screw would spray them. I don't see why not if all that fluid is being sprayed into the air anyways. Ugh. Come on, I'm hitting the backside. Why isn't it dying? And speaking of dying, Harry got killed all over again. And Ron was killed once, seconds beforehand. So we've had three deaths, oh, sorry, four now, since I've apparently just died again, and in about a minute and a half here. Oh, jeez, this is ridiculous. Harry just died again! The computer-controlled characters took better care of themselves during their previous year than they are right now. And they were a full year younger back then. And Ron just died again, too. Unbelievable. Idiot. Yeah, I haven't forgotten the Triwizard Shield up there. All the suffering just to get that one item. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the best thing to do would be to just kill all the mosps first and then deal with the blast and then screwed afterwards. Assuming we can even avoid it, though. Keeps charging at us and everything else, spraying at us. Okay, there's at least one more mosp now. I'm not sure how many more total are flying around here, though. That might be off screen and all that. Okay, Ron died yet again. I've already lost count of how many times one of us have died in this episode, probably more than the rest of the deaths in the entire series of videos combined up to this point. Christ. <laughs> Look at Ron. He Okay, he's already down to less than half of his health already. Sometimes I wish I could just do some of this shit solo. And Harry just died yet again, and Ron's down to single digits. 
for fuck's sake. He already died only ten seconds ago, and he's already down to three quarters of his health already. Or one quarter, I should say. Fucking useless sacks of shit. Finally. Alright. Been waiting to be able to use magic as extremos, but that didn't save Harry from dying yet one more time. Oh, now Ron's gone too. Yes! Yes! Finally! Got it. What a shitty experience. Let's get the fuck out of here before I die too. Only four hit points yet left. Jesus Christ. Something's wrong here. I released Carpe Retractum, yet I'm still getting that sound effect as if I'm pulling on a boobo tuber. Alright, I'm trying to get through again. God damn it, Hermione! Don't block my path, you shit wagon. I hate doing this shit with the mushrooms. See, listen, the sound effect is stuck again. Okay, no! The f oh, the fucking dug bugs just blocked my path now, too! Fucking assholes! Okay, I finally got through. After all this time. Are you serious, Harry? Fucking dumbass. Hey, wait a minute. Are those blue beams of light what I think they are? They are! What the fuck? Where did this come from? Well, since grabbing a shield ends the level and you have to start over from the beginning, I have to get through all that shit again. And here I am- FUCK! Those two snot plants are too close to each other, so it's difficult to shoot one without hitting the other one. And again, the characters are so stupid when they're being controlled by the computer, they just keep walking into shit that hurts them and they don't even learn anything from that painful experience. I'm having another problem that I've encountered before where the mushrooms are so close to the boobo tubers that if I pull back too far, then I overshoot and miss the mushroom patch. But if I don't pull back far enough, then I don't have enough tension to catapult this shit anywhere, so it just stays rooted to the ground and either way I can't do what I'm trying to do. See, that time I went too far. Try again. And again, pulled back too far and hit a group of boobo tubers on the other side instead. Okay, see, I had that purple target to guide me, but when I let go, it still wasn't pulling back hard enough to fling it anywhere, so what's the point of having that target appear at all if it's not going to go airborne? Come on, for fuck's sake. Oh, wait a minute. Uh... Uh, hey, it worked! I'm glad, but it's still an inconsistent experience regardless. Here we go again with this shit. Come on. Oh, the fuck? <laughs> Look at that, is it stuck like that? Oh, wait, no, apparently not. Well, good to see that when glitches do happen, the game can recover from them and you can keep playing. If it had continued to do that forever, then I would have had to go and look for another shield or just reset the level manually. And either way, I'd have to come all the way down here all over again. God damn, I hate this particular boobo tuber so much. I really do. Harry, I swear to God, if you- Damn it! I'm collecting these shields for your sake, you know? Please. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, finally! Now, how much of a pain in the ass is it gonna be to cast Herbivicus next to this dragon? Okay, well at least I know in this particular spot the fireballs can't reach me, so I'll just try to unfold as many of these as possible from this location. And that's all I can do from here. Okay, go, go, go. Hurry up. Uh, okay, good. So these leaves are both fire resistant and can withstand explosions, that's pretty cool. I think that's it. Now I have to just start running at the right time. Here we go. Oh, mosps appeared? What are they gonna do in less than two seconds? Okay, uh, this is off, right? Shit! Eh, well, I have no one to blame but myself for that one. Okay, I just cleared out a bunch of dug bogs, so I guess now I should expect some mosps to start swarming me whenever I start unraveling leaves. Or at least start walking up that vine. Uh, nothing yet, but I know they're gonna come. Yep, I knew it. Fuck off. Ah, oh, jeez. <sighs> if Harry and Hermione can just keep that moss busy for long enough. Yes, finished. Just have to sprint there. Got it. I forget, have I tried killing a salamander with one of these cauldrons? 
Oh, very nice. I doubt I'll be able to do that twice in a row, though, so why bother trying? The elongated cheeks these salamanders have kind of reminds me of the yellow spotted lizards in the movie Holes, except they're spitting fire like the Detent Boys rap in the song Dig It on the DVD's extra feature menu. It's bad enough that it takes forever to pull down one drawbridge, but now there's four more I have to do. Ooh. Shit, sorry Harry. Well, actually no. Fuck you for not helping. Here we are. I swear to god, if any mosps show up... It better not. At least, this is a straightforward pathway to the other platform, but I bet any second now I'm gonna get swarmed upon. Eh... Oh, well, all right then. All right, I'm ready to explore whatever is waiting for me down this path. Uh, guess I'll go up top. I already see a shield over there anyways. No, two actually. Cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, no, three. I can see three shields from here. Damn. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, you and me both. Now quit whining, that's my job. Your job is to fight these ball lickers, especially since I gave you three cards that all boost your jinxing power, Ron. I don't care, you think I'm gonna buy anything else with these beans? And this whole exchange was kind of funny the first time around, maybe even the second time, but hearing the same dialogue too often gets tiresome, you know? Uh, just... fuck. Is getting the next shield really gonna be this easy? Oh, wait, no, no, there's a whole waterfall of steam there, so no, it's not. I have to go and turn off a faucet first. Oh, for fuck's sake, I just got finished with the Urklings. Leave me alone. God damn it. Okay, one of them just tried to sting me and was completely unsuccessful, and the other one just drifted away while taking it up the ass. Yeah, just like that. It, if it's... it's... Eh, the, the, the backside... It's tough enough to endure jinxes, I guess? Fuck, even if it has an exoskeleton of some kind, an, in an insect's armor shouldn't be so strong that it can just lazily turn its back towards you in a fight. Okay, I transfigured it into a larva. It would be crazy if you left it alone long enough, like, several seconds or something, and it underwent metamorphosis and became a moss all over again, and you had to defeat it a second time, so... Thank God the game isn't that cruel, especially since trying to destroy the larva in a timely fashion would be more difficult if you had to deal with multiple mosps at once. Can't go that way either at the moment. Nothing that way. So this whole series of lily pads is a dead end until you turn off the scalding hot water pouring down from above. Oh shit, there was a shield down there too. Okay, so that's four Triwizard Shield locations that I'm aware of. Are you shitting me again? Also, where do they drop down from? I don't even know how high the ceiling is. It's like an underground cave or something, right? Well, at least that was over with quickly. Now, what's gonna be more annoying? Two Urklings or pulling down the drawbridge? Okay, well that wasn't so bad. Other than Ron's total lack of participation. Okay, fire salamanders are next. Oh, sweet! I put one fire pit out already. Where are the salamanders, anyways? Are you telling me I'm about to put out all these fire pits without having to fight any of them? Oh, yeah, I guess I just did. That's insane. It's nice for a change, but still insane. Is it simply because I was able to extinguish them from a distance that was farther away than whatever radius I needed to reach on foot in order to trigger them to come out and fight me? I guess so. Okay, yeah, so let's take care of this now. Oh, what the fuck? I'm pulling on it, yet it's rotating towards me instead of... As if I'm pushing the backside away from me? Jesus, the hell's that about? I know magic kind of violates the laws of physics already, but that's just ridiculous. And they put too many shields right next to each other, which is completely unrelated, but also weird. That's funny, though. While casting Accio, I can outrun it and just... It'll follow me. Or it can make it look like we're orbiting a common center of gravity like a binary star system. Alright. Eight mini shields total. Yeah, I meant to hit the dragon, but that's my own fault since Jinxus and Carpe Retract, I'm used two different buttons. 
And once again, whoever she asks for help ends up standing around doing nothing while the other computer-controlled character volunteers their labor instead. Kinda weird how that works out. So I can't go down that way either, so I might as well keep pushing on through here. God damn it, Harry. Seriously, pulling those things down is just annoying. Oh, cool, I reached one of them. Alright, you gotta get more shields from this area, but like I was saying, I don't know why the game can't have all three of us pull these things down at once. That can't be too much to ask for, right? I mean, seriously, I don't know. So, there's yet another path we can grow out of these lily pads here, leading us off to that platform to the left. What are the odds of the swarm of mosps shows up? Yeah, of course! Knew it! Fucking knew it! Fucking flying pieces of shit! Oh, I seriously died already? And Harry just fell over, too. God, fuck, damn. Oh, uh, yeah, and I can't really pick too many of the beans up because my wand is preoccupied with destroying the rest of these mosps first. Where are you two going? Don't run away. God, oh god, I hate this shit so much. Okay, came back at least, thanks. Yeah, just keep running in place, Hermione. That'll get you anywhere. I still hear a moss off screen, though. Oh, sounds like I hit it. I hit something, though. Nope, I missed one. I'll get this bastard real quick. I quit swinging it around like a yo-yo. Okay, that's the last one, right? I really, really, really hope so. Are you shitting me? I hear more already. Although I don't see them yet. The uh, up oh, shit. God fucking damn it, right in the ass, too. Jesus, at least this time when replying with, alright, they're actually doing something to help for once. Okay, good, destroyed that bug. Alright, get this one. Hopefully, sooner rather than later. Be quick about it. Fine. Oh, finally. Is that the last one? I think so. Alright. Come up here, please. Come on, help me out here. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're supposed to walk up here and then cast Carpe Retractum. You can't help if you're pulling away from in the opposite direction. Okay, well, at least we were still able to rotate the faucet despite your basic misunderstanding of physics. See, Harry knows how to properly pull something, and we're doing it much faster this time. Fucking Hermione and her troll physics. I don't know, I might, I might try this way next. Will you mosps fuck off already? This is ridiculous. God damn it. Okay, sure, just push me around along the ground like a rag doll. How did Harry survive that just now? He just stands there with his back turned, not paying the slightest bit of attention, and yet he didn't even get hurt. How is that fair? Okay, I'll just get this done real quick. Why is Hermione still up there? She's not even making an effort to run this way and try to reach us. She's just... What the fuck? What are you doing? She's just standing there. I've already gotten the gillyweed from the greenhouses anyways. Why do I have to do all this shit? I just need to wait until the day of the second task, for fuck's sake. Oh, of course, I disturbed another nest of these things flying around up here simply by walking up the stairs and stepping onto this platform. What did I ever do to you guys? And again, why the fuck should any of the characters tell me to use Accio to summon anything at this point in the game? I can't believe I just died again. We're gonna run out of chocolate frogs soon if we're not careful. Although I notice that sometimes when a character dies, a chocolate frog is used up and other times it isn't. And I wonder if it is to... I wonder if, like, eh... If, if it doesn't count when a computer-controlled character falls over, which is uh, pretty considerate, given that I can't help them look after themselves most of the time. Okay, for fuck's sake, I'm trying to cast Carpe Retractum on the moss, but not the faucet. Okay, finally got it, but it tried to use her... I tried... Yeah, the wand, the controller button, I don't know. Tried to use her Vivicus for a second, because there needs to be a way to choose which spells you want to cast if one button controls multiple spells and more than one of said spells can be used on whatever you're aiming at. I'm stumbling all over my words. Okay, clearing a path now, but I just realized this was pointless since I unblocked two shields, but can only get one before the level and the faucets reset themselves. And here I am, getting the eighth shield. 
And now I'm on my way up to grab the ninth shield as well. And I can pretty much just run past all this shit. No, but apparently Harry can't. If you're not capable of running past an obstacle like that, then don't bother following me in the first place, for fuck's sake. Found another tap. Yippee. Okay, so this is our last detour where our tenth and final shield awaits us. That is a hell of a long drop, by the way. That wall is two to three times your height, and you can just land on your feet like a feather. Okay, great. One more mini shield, too. Not sure if that will be of any use to us, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. How many different infestations of creatures can exist in this castle? Let alone one place inside it, such as these underground networks of appropriated muggle technology. Well, we seem to be handling them okay for now, at least. So do the Urkling salamanders, dugbogs, mosps, and whatever else ever... We f do they ever fight with each other, by the way? I mean, if so, why haven't they done us a favor and killed each other off so we don't have to deal with them? And if not, why the hell do they live peacefully in coexistence while trying to kill Hogwarts students? Guys, are you gonna help? What the fuck? Were, were you kissing behind my back? Oh, that reminds me, even though it's not totally relevant to the non sequitur I just uttered. But the plot of this game never mentioned the Yule Ball whatsoever, which I guess doesn't matter much since mentioning it in the cutscene wouldn't really help forward the gameplay experience in any way, but imagine trying to make actual gameplay out of the Yule Ball instead of just acknowledging it in passing. Like, you had to dance with either the keyboard controller or the Dance Dance Revolution floor pad or whatever the fuck to gain a couple more shields. It would be fucking weird. I have no idea why this thought even entered my mind, by the way. Yeah, we have to go around, okay? Come on. Alright, I think I need to bring this block all the way up and around onto that platform, too, to be able to climb up it to reach the shield. So, here we go. Slow and steady, and... Oh, oh, okay. It's a good start, you two. Very good, in fact. We're practically halfway there already. Now, we have to get up to this next platform. Okay, so you ready, guys? Just come up here. Okay, thank you, Hermione. Here comes Harry. Oh, no! Hermione, get back up here! Get off the block, you twat! Okay, you fell off. You can still work your magic from down there, I think. Okay, good. That mistake didn't really cost us much time, then. Come on. And... good. Wow, excellent. We're really moving this a pretty good distance. That's efficient work to you two. Now, wait a minute. What the hell? Ah, oh, fuck, I fell off. But I was distracted because we landed the block on the cauldron and it exploded and respawned a couple of times seems to have stopped now. Maybe the cauldron exploding was enough to dislodge the block off of the cauldron stand, but that was still pretty cool. It wouldn't have occurred to me to even try that just to see what would happen. It's nice when you find things out by accident like that. God, fuck. Okay. Uh, where are those two? Good, here we go then. Oh, god damn it! you seriously fell off, Hermione? Well, at least you didn't break your spell concentration. I really can't talk either, since I also fell off the ledge a minute earlier, too. Is that close enough? Good. I finally made it. I have ten shields now. This shit took me an hour and twenty minutes to complete, so be thankful that I cut the episode down into something more reasonable. So, yeah, second task unlocked. Who fucking ray?